The world just changed, no earthquake, no stock market crash, no sudden disaster, but something just as monumental has happened, quietly, almost invisibly, beneath the surface of daily life. In the tech labs of Shenzhen, a silent coup has taken place. While the world's attention was elsewhere, a new power was rising, one microchip at a time. For decades America was the undisputed king of technology, its dominance built on a single foundation, the semiconductor chip. These tiny pieces of silicon powered everything from smartphones to satellites, and with them, America shaped the modern world. The US wielded this power like a sword, using it to keep rivals, especially China, firmly in check. Every major advance, every new device, seemed to reinforce America's lead, but that era is over. A new king is rising, Huawei. Once dismissed as just another Chinese company, it has now become the symbol of a new technological order. This isn't just a corporate rivalry, it's a seismic shift in global power. The balance is tipping, and the world is watching. Think of it as the fall of Rome but this time the weapons aren't swords or shields, they're silicon wafers and artificial intelligence. The battlefield is digital, and the stakes are higher than ever. The American tech empire, once thought invincible, has cracked. The signs were subtle at first, missed deadlines, supply chain issues, whispers of new competitors. China, with patience, vision, and relentless determination, has broken it wide open. Years of investment, innovation, and strategic planning have paid off. This is about more than just gadgets or profits, it's about who controls the future, who writes the rules for the 21st century, and who gets left behind. The momentum has swung to the east, the world's economic and technological center of gravity is shifting, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. The story of this coup began quietly. A rumor, then a reality. In boardrooms and back alleys, in code and in hardware, the groundwork was laid for a revolution. The US believed it had China in a technological chokehold by cutting off advanced chips. Sanctions, export bans and political pressure were supposed to keep China down. They thought they could stop Huawei. They were wrong. Instead of folding, Huawei doubled down, innovating under pressure and turning adversity into opportunity. While America celebrated what it thought was victory, Huawei quietly built its own empire in secret, working day and night to achieve the impossible. It just unveiled a creation that sent shockwaves from Silicon Valley to the White House, a breakthrough that proved China could not only catch up but leap ahead. This is the moment historians will point to, the moment the tide turned. The day the old order gave way to the new, the US thought it was playing chess, planning moves, anticipating threats. But China was playing Go, long-term, strategic, relentless, seeing the whole board. The board is set for a final confrontation. The world is watching as two giants prepare for a new kind of battle. The stakes? economic supremacy, military advantage, and the very infrastructure of our digital world. Whoever wins will shape the next century. The American century is over, the world is entering uncharted territory. The Chinese century has just begun. A new era of innovation, ambition, and global influence is dawning. The world's tech throne is wobbling, the crown is up for grabs and the competition has never been fiercer. The US underestimated its rival. Now it's scrambling to catch up as the world watches the balance of power shift. Now the rules of the game are changing. The old playbook is obsolete and a new one is being written in real time. The future is being rewritten, not in Washington, but in Shenzhen. The next chapter of technology will be authored in the East. The new tech king is here, and the world will never be the same. To grasp this shift, you need to understand the fortress that just fell. For 50 years, America's Silicon Valley was the heart of global tech, built on semiconductors. Companies like Intel, Qualcomm, and especially Nvidia, didn't just sell products, they sold the power to compute, connect, and innovate. NVIDIA's GPUs once for gaming became the backbone of the AI revolution. Every major AI breakthrough needed NVIDIA chips. Its dominance gave the US a strategic edge, a silicon fortress. This wasn't luck. It was decades of innovation, investment, and a system that attracted the world's best minds. American companies designed the most advanced chips, and global foundries built them with US tech. The US could cut off any nation's access to these chips, wielding immense power. Without American chips, a nation's tech ambitions would stall. This was America's ultimate weapon. Confident in its dominance, Washington made a fateful decision to use this weapon against its biggest rival, the target China. The plan cut off access, maintained supremacy, but the fortress wasn't as unbreakable as it seemed. The move would have consequences no one in Washington expected. The stage was set for a global tech showdown. In 2019, the US government made a bold move, targeting Huawei by placing it on the entity list, effectively banning American companies from selling critical technology and components to Chinese giants like Huawei. The logic was simple. No access to advanced chips, no chance for China to lead in global technology. Almost overnight Huawei's once booming smartphone business collapsed, sending shockwaves through the industry. Access to Google's services and the world's most advanced chips was abruptly cut off. Western pundits and analysts quickly declared victory, believing the fortress of American tech dominance was now impenetrable. But inside China, the ban was more than a setback. It was a wake-up call, a clear declaration of economic and technological war. The Chinese government suddenly saw its reliance on foreign technology as an existential threat to its future and security. 
In response it mobilized the entire state apparatus, pouring billions of dollars into building a homegrown semiconductor industry from the ground up. The goal was no longer just to catch up, but to leap ahead, to create a parallel sanction-proof tech ecosystem that could withstand any future pressure. Washington had miscalculated the stakes. While the US saw a global market to be controlled, Beijing saw a battlefield where survival was at stake. The US believed it was simply punishing a single company for alleged wrongdoing. But China understood this was about national survival, about the future of its entire technological and economic independence. As American politicians celebrated what they saw as a decisive blow, China quietly began preparing its counterattack, working late into the night. A massive, state-driven effort was launched, much of it hidden from Western eyes, as China began building its own tech infrastructure in secret. China wasn't just trying to survive the sanctions, it was planning to win, to turn crisis into opportunity. The world was about to witness just how badly America had underestimated its rival's resolve and capacity for innovation. The ban didn't cripple China as intended, instead, it galvanized an entire nation to action. The US had unwittingly triggered a new kind of arms race, a technological arms race with global consequences. The next move in this high-stakes game would change everything, setting the stage for a new era of competition. The once secure fortress of American tech dominance was now under siege, its walls beginning to crack. The real battle for global tech supremacy had only just begun, with the world watching closely. The US had fired the first shot in a conflict that would reshape the future. China, now more determined than ever was ready to answer with breakthroughs of its own. The world would never be the same again, as the chip war escalated beyond anyone's expectations. The chip war was on, and the outcome would define the next era of global power. For years, Huawei faded from the spotlight, its once bustling offices now quiet, its name rarely making headlines. Many believed the company's best days were behind it. The world assumed it was crippled by sanctions, its global ambitions shattered by the US trade ban. But behind closed doors, Huawei wasn't idle or defeated, instead, it was secretly building something revolutionary, pouring resources into research and development, and rallying its brightest minds for a comeback. In late 2023, Huawei shocked the world by launching the Mate 60 Pro smartphone, a device that would become a symbol of technological resilience. Inside was the new 7 nanometer Kirin 9000S chip, an engineering marvel that many experts thought China couldn't make for years to come. It was a stunning feat, sending shockwaves through the tech industry. But for Huawei, this was just the beginning of a much bigger plan. Huawei's real target was even more ambitious, NVIDIA's dominance in artificial intelligence chips, the heart of the world's most advanced computing. Enter the Ascend 910B, a homegrown AI accelerator, built entirely without American technology, designed to rival the best in the world. Developed in secrecy, the Ascend 910B was the product of a new sanction-proof supply chain, meticulously crafted to avoid foreign dependencies. Huawei partnered with SMIC, China's leading chipmaker, pushing Chinese manufacturing to new heights, and proving that innovation could thrive under pressure. They built their own design software, their own manufacturing processes, every step of the journey was made in China, by Chinese engineers. America's export ban was now obsolete, as Huawei and its partners found ways to bypass old barriers and create new opportunities. China could now build its own AI infrastructure, supercomputers, and even military technology, without fear of being cut off from critical components. The strategic chokehold that once threatened China's tech future was broken, replaced by a new sense of independence. Huawei hadn't just survived the storm, it had emerged stronger, more innovative, and truly independent for the first time. The secret weapon was out, dazzling the world and signaling a new era in global technology, and it was aimed directly at NVIDIA, challenging the very core of American tech supremacy. The world's tech balance had shifted overnight, with markets and governments scrambling to understand the new reality. The US was no longer the sole gatekeeper of advanced technology, as China stepped confidently onto the world stage. China had built its own fortress, a digital stronghold that could withstand any external pressure. The rules of the game had changed, and a new era of competition was about to begin. The chip war had a new leader, and the world was watching to see what would happen next. The future was up for grabs, and the next move could change everything. The Ascend 910B wasn't just a symbol, it was a juggernaut. Performance benchmarks shocked Silicon Valley. In some AI tasks, it outpaced NVIDIA. The real shock? Price. Chinese tech giants could buy it for a fraction of an NVIDIA chip. Why pay more for a US chip that could be sanctioned, when a homegrown alternative is faster and cheaper? NVIDIA's downgraded chips for China couldn't compete. Chinese firms cancelled NVIDIA orders, switching to Huawei. This wasn't just patriotism, it was smart business. The China market, once a goldmine for NVIDIA, was evaporating. The killer feature, the Ascend 910B is 100% American free. It insulates China's tech ecosystem from US pressure. Huawei is selling technological sovereignty, a future free from Washington's control. For China and other nations, that's an irresistible offer. The chip war's economic front had shifted decisively. The fallout was swift. 
Wall Street trembled as Nvidia's stock faltered. Investors saw a future where Nvidia's China market was gone. The panic spread to other US tech giants reliant on China. The global tech supply chain began to fracture. Two parallel ecosystems emerged, one US-led, one China-led. Countries and companies faced a choice, American innovation with strings, or Chinese tech with fewer conditions. Europe hesitated, tempted by cheaper Chinese AI. Developing nations saw China as a path to tech growth without political baggage. Beijing exported not just chips but its state-led development model, the stakes control over AI, military tech, and the future of power. America's military edge was at risk, the global balance was up for grabs, the chip war was now the central battlefield of a new Cold War. To see how Huawei pulled this off, look at electric vehicles. Tesla once led but BYD, a Chinese company, quietly overtook it by 2023. BYD's secret vertical integration scale and state support. It made its own batteries, motors and chips controlling costs and quality. It dominated China's huge market, then went global. The same playbook powers Huawei and chips. Huawei cut the US out of its supply chain building everything in-house. China's massive market gave it scale and revenue to fund R&D. State support made semiconductor independence a national priority. Huawei isn't just a company, it's a national champion. The Chinese model is relentless. Play the long game, absorb losses and invest for the future. The US system sprints. China runs marathons. In EVs, the marathon runner won. Now the same race is on in semiconductors. The US faces a rival that's patient, strategic and state-backed. The outcome will shape the future of tech. The world is watching. The world stands at a crossroads. The era of American tech dominance is over. We've entered a bipolar tech world, US versus China. The US rallies allies, doubles down on sanctions, and invests in domestic chips. China leads a bloc offering affordable advanced tech without political strings. For many nations China's offer is hard to resist. The result? A fragmented internet, new alliances and fierce competition. India pursues its own path, hinting at a third pole. The chip war is just beginning. The real conflict will play out in labs, factories and boardrooms. Who will control the 21st saint century economy? The answer isn't written yet. But one thing is clear, the future of technology and global power is up for grabs.